Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. So here we are looking at a 1998 model year Chevy S10 pickup truck with a popular 4.3 liter engine in there. And i uh, just been looking at a squeak, and I think I've actually run into this before. I thought I'd maybe show this though. Here's the tensioner in this particular truck, and we can actually see it's just sitting right at the end. There's really no room for it to uh, do anything. And I actually saw the belt flopping around. And so I think the easiest solution, which I've seen for other people, is actually to install a shorter belt. The numbers we're using, it's like a 960 is what it calls for, but I believe a 950 is going to take care of the situation. And uh, so this is a common belt set up for, I think, 95, 96, 97. 98 blah 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 for quite a while for this particular setup however we're lucky enough to have a I think a 2003 in here we'll go over there and check that out quick let's take a look at the alternator and tensioner setup so here we can see the 2003 Chevrolet S10 pickup truck with a 4.3 liter and you can definitely see a difference with the way the belt lays down there and the tensioner and so this is with a shorter belt too this is a 2003 so i'd recommend using uh, probably this 2003 belt because it looks like everything else is the same so like a shorter belt is the simple easy solution to uh the belt noise if you see that your tensioner run it for a little bit and if you see your tensioner sits like the other one previously on this video just go with a shorter belt and that'll probably take care of it Good luck to you in your search for belt noise solutions. Of course, do make sure the tensioner moves freely, but you're probably going to find it just on the old one we just showed you previously that it's uh, at the end of its travel for whatever reason. 